Guys, preeclampsia symptoms, let us look at. Basically, uh, preeclampsia is a syndrome of signs. Okay, the signs come first. So, the doctor can detect it faster because the symptoms will appear late. Okay, so you should understand that the doctor uh, will be able to catch it better because of the signs. It's a syndrome of signs. Signs can be caught faster because they can measure your blood pressure, etc. Obviously, symptoms will appear late and these symptoms will appear only after 20 weeks. What are the symptoms that they will appear? There will be swelling over the ankles, especially when you get up in the morning from the bed, there will be swelling of the ankles, okay. So, uh, what else? This is called as edema, isn't it? Gradually, as this progresses, it, there can be facial edema, etc. Vulval edema also can be there, okay. Then, the alarming symptoms you should know, guys, because uh, this can be indicative of severe preeclampsia. So, there can be a headache, disturbed sleep, diminished urine output because there is ischemia right uh, to kidney also there is less perfusion then there is epigastric pain because there can be liver uh, ischemia right these people can have vomiting also okay uh, this can be hemorrhage gastritis they can have okay and then they can have uh, hemorrhage in the liver eye symptoms they can have uh, blurring scotoma dimness of vision so these are the symptoms which they will complain of but what as a sign what you can see in these people retinal hemorrhage exudates papilledema you can see those are signs actually so, all these will indicate to you that there is uh, uh, severe preeclampsia, okay. And this eye symptoms will come down uh, after uh, delivery, okay. Remember, this is known as pregnancy induced. So, once pregnancy uh, is terminated, the pregnancy is terminated, everything will return to normal, okay. Now, coming to signs. What are the signs? Now, we are talking about what the doctor will observe and they told you it is more or uh, more that the, it's a syndrome of signs. Signs are uh, more uh, more visible first than the symptoms. Symptoms come only later. So, as a doctor, what and all will you see? If the patient is gaining, have, having abnormal uh, weight gain, okay, that is more than 5 pounds in a month or 1 pound in a week, <clears throat> okay, then rise in blood pressure. Obviously, you will be monitoring her blood pressure and then you will see rise in blood pressure that is uh, systolic greater than 30 Diastolic greater than 50 than the pre-pregnancy value that can indicate preeclampsia is, is there. Then uh, edema, like we told you, you are the one who will check for ankle edema, right? You will check the patient, right? But patient can give a symptom of uh, edema of the ankle from, while rising from the bed. No manifestation of, um, there is no manifestation of chronic, okay, they are saying that there is no sign of cardiac or renal, okay? Pulmonary edema, this you should know, okay. Pulmonary edema can be there. And uh, you will be able to see the abdominal examination. If you do, you will be able to know that there is placental insufficiency. Okay, there can be oligoamnios, there is scanty liquor, liquor, scanty liquor, and there could be growth retardation of the fetus. So you will be able to detect all this in abdominal examination. Then Proteinuria, obviously, you'll be able to detect, right, before uh, anybody tells you. Okay, blood pressure you can manage. You can check, right, you're a doctor, you'll check blood pressure, edema, you will look for, you look for proteinuria, you will look for abdominal examination in a pregnant woman to see whether the baby is according to the age. So, all that you will do, so you will be able to catch preeclampsia very, very well. Okay, now based on this, uh, what are the uh, severe preeclampsia means what will be there? Greater than 160 systolic, greater than 110 diastolic. Protein greater than 5 gram per uh, for 24 hours. Oliguria, these people will have platelet count only less. They can have help syndrome. If they have visual disturbances, severe epigastric pain, retinal hemorrhage, exudate papilledema. If there is intrauterine restriction of fetus, pulmonary edema, all this will make it as severe preeclampsia. So, in this video, you looked at the symptoms and signs of, of what? Preeclampsia. Bye-bye.